Joe, it's been a difficult season for wasps, but from a personal point of view, you must be able to step back from that and, and be very pleased with how things have gone. Oh yeah, for me, it's uh, probably exceeded my personal goal from the start of the season. I set myself possibly the chance to try and get a few LV games and uh, the chance of fallen, a few injuries and yeah, it's been a, been a good season personally. You've played in the back row and as lock. Where do you see as your preferred position? Um, I think the second row is probably my preferred position. I um, enjoy the set piece, I enjoy the line out, always want to improve there. So I feel second row is probably going to be where I hopefully play most of my rugby. How valuable has it been for your development to be playing alongside one of the all-time great English locks, Simon Shaw? Oh yeah, you can't you can't underestimate that at all. I've, he's given me loads of tips and just even little small things after training. But it's exactly what you want as a young player to have someone of the calibre as Simon Shaw playing in your position. There have been some disappointing results in recent weeks, but most people reckon that you came out of those games extremely well. Have you actually enjoyed them despite the way they've gone? Uh, I've, uh, as it's a, it's, a team, it's a team sport, obviously, and you want to win and you, you play to win. But I mean, I've, I've enjoyed every minute personally. I've, for the club and the supporters, perhaps haven't. But we're doing all we can to, to turn these results around. And this Saturday, we want to finish really well, finish the season well. Exeter this weekend. Yep. They've got an awful lot to play for because uh, they had a couple of points deducted. But if they win on Saturday and Wasps get nothing, they'll finish above Wasps in the table, which probably they wouldn't have bet on at the beginning of the season. Oh, we're, we're all well aware of that, and that's sort of. I'm sure it's a, a massive thing for them. They want to finish above us in the league, but we also have really. There's a lot of boys leaving. I'm sure they want to leave on a good note, and uh, for the club as well, we, we we deserve to finish on a good season. So, is the mood still fairly optimistic, looking ahead to next season, despite what's happened recently? Oh, I think so. The, the core of the squad's staying, and we, we've, it looks like the signings are going to be quite, quite quite useful. So, next season's very optimistic, and I'm sure we, we could give a bit more to benefit the, the supporters really. Now away from club action you were of course part of England's Grand Slam winning uh, under 20s side and you've got the small matter of a Junior World Cup to look forward to that must be pretty exciting particularly in Italy. Oh yes uh, oh, I think we find out on Friday if, um, if we're definitely picked so I'm really hoping to be on the plane for that and yeah it should be a, should be an awesome few weeks got a really strong side and I think we're looking there to, to, to do well I think. And that's an area where Wasps have been very strongly represented this season, isn't it? Oh yeah, our, our academy has done really well this year. There's, there's lots of us, there's five or six of us who've been involved to, to some level in, throughout the Six Nations. And well, well, I'm sure we'll see on Friday how many of us there are, but it looks like it's going to be a very healthy number. Oh, yeah, so finally, what's your message to the Wasps supporters going into this game and looking ahead to next season? Oh, just sort of stick with it. We're, everyone's working as hard as we can. Uh, and I'm sure next season, be hopefully getting back to the right ways.